What's up everybody, Neo here with Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with iOS 8's new family sharing feature. With family sharing you'll be able to add various iCloud accounts or family member iCloud accounts and share certain things like location, apps, media, photos, or a schedule. So I'll show you how to get started. You would just go into your settings. I'm already in the iCloud options. Just locate iCloud and I'm already I already have it set up but it'll say family sharing you would just tap on it and follow the prompts there's not many things to do you just have to add family members via email address they'll have to confirm it on their device and you also have to put a debit card for all the family to share or credit card sorry so once that done it'll actually list your family members so I have one family member Neil Gonzalez he's an adult but if you have someone that's younger, it'll actually show them as a child, or it'll say their age, actually. Now, if you have an adult, you can actually enable them to be a parent slash guardian. So let's say uh, I have a wife. I can enable her as a parent or guardian. Now, her and I will be able to approve purchases for applications or iTunes on our device. So let's say one of the young ones tries to buy something. We'll get a notification asking us to approve it or decline it. So that way we can monitor what they're buying and make sure they're not spending too much on in-app purchases and whatnot. So it's also easy to keep track of your family. Under iCloud, you're going to want to go down to Share My Location, pick a family member, and just hit Share My Location. I've already shared it, so I could just hit Stop if I want to. But I'm sharing my location, so with this enabled, I can go into Messages, go into the conversation with that member. Let's say you're in a group chat. Go to details and the family members will show up on the map. Now this also works with the find my friends application from Apple. Just download that and I'll show them on the map. And it's claimed to work with find my iPhone though it's not working on this current iOS 8 beta which is a final beta but hopefully with the official one you'll be able to use it with find my iPhone and help your family members keep track of their device if they lose it. Along with sharing location, you can also share apps that other family members have purchased. Just go to updates, purchased, and then you'll see family purchases. Just click on the member, and you can download anything they have, even if it's paid, because Goblin, Goblin Sword was paid by Neil, and I downloaded it and installed it free of charge. Now, along with apps, you can also go into iTunes, and you can grab some songs that family members have installed so you just go to more purchased and then just pick a family member Neil and then you just pick music movies TV shows and you can do the same thing just install it or download it sorry so I would go to music and say Neil's got an album I want oh he's got the U2 album so did everyone else that got iOS 8 another cool feature is that it's really easy to create a family album in order to do so you'd have to go to settings just make sure this is enabled real quick under iCloud services again or iCloud settings go down to the photos app and just make sure that iCloud photo sharing is enabled or else you won't be able to use this feature now go to photos and you see down here I'm under shared you just tap on shared and you can actually view your family album so you could just tap on it and view any you can view all the pictures that your family members have uh, added to it and you can also add your own it's a cool way to see what one another are up to let's say you have someone that's traveling abroad, they're uploading pictures, you can easily view them, or you're having a family outing, you just all add some photos, create a cool album together. So it's also easy to get the family together now. You just go to calendar events, sorry, just go to calendar, and let's say you want to create a new event, you do it like you normally would, let's say it's family time, you just create it, and down here where it says calendar, just make sure to check family. So let's go back in there you'll see it says shared with Neil Gonzalez because he's in the family sharing program that we got going on so if I check that and I create the event all the members of the family will get a notification for the event and have it added to their calendar making it real easy to let everybody know and give them a heads up all in all this is a pretty cool feature on iOS 8 you will have to convince any Android users in the family to jump on iPhone in order to actually enjoy this because everyone 
that uses this will need an iPhone. Also, the features are pretty convenient, like creating an album, keeping track of one another, another is easy, especially if you're on a family vacation or something like that. And I mean, your iTunes library expands and you get free apps. I mean, why not? So definitely give it a try. Check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.